Hi, I'm Brooke Wallace with your Arkansas Times News Headline Updates for Friday, September the 15th. The Arkansas Legislative Council rejected a bipartisan effort by two senators to create a temporary legislative subcommittee to study race relations in the state. The proposal forwarded by Senators Jim Hendren, a Republican from Gravit, and Joyce Elliott, a Democrat from Little Rock, would have created an eight-member panel composed equally of Republicans and Democrats to come up with proposals for legislative and non-legislative changes related to racial equality. It needed a two-thirds majority to pass but fell far short. Representative Greg Bledding said it received nine votes among House members, needing 22. Senate members weren't made to vote. Walmart will build a new headquarters in Bentonville, CEO Doug McMillan said today. The project is expected to accommodate 14,000 to 17,000 employees who are now spread among 20 buildings in Bentonville, Arkansas Business reports. It's expected to be built in stages and take five to seven years to be completed. Arkansas Business also reported that the company, which has been located in Bentonville for almost 50 years and is now one of the world's largest corporations, is applying for an incentive to help build the new facility from Arkansas Economic Development Commission. The state's unemployment rate increased slightly in August, the Arkansas Department of Workforce Services said Friday. The July figure was 3.4%, a record low. It ticked upward to 3.5% last month. Three inmates were injured in a disturbance that began last night at 11 p.m. at the Cummins unit located in Grady, according to a release from the Arkansas Department of Correction. It is unclear at this time the level of injury suffered by the prisoners. Within the last two months, there have been two reported breakouts at the maximum security unit located in Tucker. One involved three shots fired by a guard after inmates escaped from an isolation area and during a second, six inmates took keys and a taser from guards. Both of those incidents were blamed on inadequate fencing by ADC Director Wendy Kelly. The State Board of Education on Thursday afternoon allowed three charter school operators to proceed with plans to open a new school in Little Rock, disregard, disregarding pleas from Little Rock School District Superintendent Michael Poor to institute a pause on charter growth in the city. The three proposals were given preliminary approval in August by the Charter Authorization Panel, but the State Board has the power to review any of the authorizing panel decisions. The State Board declined to do so for Einstein Charter School, Scholar Made Achievement Place, and Friendship Aspire Academy in Little Rock, along with two other charters proposed for Pine Bluff. Well, that's all your news for today. Read more on the Arkansas blog, and we'll see Max Brantley back here on Monday. Thanks, and have a great weekend.